the biggest problem facing the planet is energy. The bedrock of all science is data. One thing that is never very far away from science is controversy. The Royal Society was the brainchild of some key intellects. The Royal Society published the first proper scientific journal, The Philosophical Transactions, in 1665. This is one of the most significant steps in the history of all of science. I sometimes say the most beautiful idea in science is generally worth nothing without the data, the observations, the experiments to back it up. Science doesn't have to be complicated. Sometimes it involves making simple observations of simple phenomena and you can do science without being an expert. Some of the greatest scientists in history have been spectacularly wrong in the past. So Darwin's theory is now we were completely wrong. From very different starting points in the evolutionary tree of life, you end up with very much the same solution. The air here in Newcastle has changed. It contains far more carbon dioxide now, and that's down to the way people use their energy. The Royal Society was founded over 350 years ago. It was only men doing science and, and philosophy around then. This piece of kit here is the sort of instrumentation on Skylark. Its purpose was to register X-ray emission from the sun. Very crude, you just hoped this actually went past the sun and got some X-rays. <laughs> People are still fascinated by how consciousness in the brain can come out of this lump of jelly.